Welcome back Discovery viewers. Today I'm going to share another zoom tip with you. We're going to talk about how to take your SLR or mirrorless camera, connect it to your computer and use it as a webcam in your zoom meetings. Now there's some cameras that already come with a driver which you can just install on your computer and your camera becomes a webcam right away. But not all manufacturers do that and especially Sony. I have a Sony camera and Sony does not have a driver for that. So I'm going to show you how to hack the system in a way and still use your camera as a webcam. Now if you already have a webcam, why would you consider using SLR instead of that? Well, a couple of reasons. One is image quality. SLR sensors are much more sensitive to light. They give you much better image quality. The colors look better. Just everything looks much better with SLR. Also, if you have interest in lenses, for example, zoom lenses or lenses with a wide aperture, you can create different looks to yourself. For example, you can make background really blurry, making people think you are using virtual background when you are not. All right, let's jump into it and talk about how we actually going to do it. Now, this is going to be a little bit technical because we are going to continue with what we built on in the previous video. If you did not see how to enhance your zoom meeting with dragons, we're going to follow with that idea. We are going to be using OBS Studio, so we are going to get a little bit technical, but I will go over things you need downloaded. So let's go to my computer and I'll show you what we are going to need. Check it out. All right, if you're a user of a Sony camera, you need a remote control software. In Sony's situation, it's called Imaging Edge Desktop and it's called Remote Control Software. What we're going to be doing is taking a preview from a camera and displaying it on our desktop. So we will need this software. We're also going to need OBS Studio. This is a software that streamers use to stream their games. Uh, online and shared with community. We're also going to need OBS virtual cam and this will create a fake virtual webcam that will emulate output from the OBS studio and send it to Zoom. And finally, you may want to consider some kind of an AC adapter for your camera. Uh, if you're going to be using a battery, it's okay. Uh, it depends on your battery, how old new it is and how big it is. It may last about an hour or so, uh, but I recommend getting an AC adapter for your camera. Mine's still on order, unfortunately, otherwise I would have shown you what it looks like, but this is similar to what I ordered online. Now, before we plug in our camera into our computer, we want to make sure we set our camera to PC remote. So I'm going to hit the menu and I'm going to make sure my connection is set to PC remote. All right, once I have that connected, I'm going to plug in my wire into a USB port and I am going to start Sony Imaging Remote for Sony. So I'm going to hit start. This will say connect in here. On my screen, I will see my camera. I will double click on it. And now it says waiting for camera to respond. As soon as camera responds, we are going to see a preview from my camera, okay? And so this is the image we're looking for. I'm going to maximize it so we can clearly see our penguin over here. Let's support the camera with something like another lens. And now we're going to go to OBS Studio. Now inside OBS, we are going to add window capture and we're going to select our uh, Sony camera, I'm going to click OK and I am going to pick which window I'm capturing. And the window I want to capture is this remote. And now we see how we are grabbing that window and we're putting this into OBS Studio. Now from here, we want to resize this a little bit. So let me just shrink it a little. And what I'll do next is I will expand it. I will hold the Alt key and I will crop this image a little bit just so we have a good, um, the good capture, so we don't have any of the controls. So crop top, bottom left, right, position it on top left corner, and then I'm going to stretch it out. Again, I'm going to position it approximately how I would like it to look. And now that I have that, I'm going to go to Tools, Virtual Cam, I'm gonna hit Start. And now I'm just gonna close the window, I'm not gonna hit Stop, so I'm just gonna do that. And now if I switch to zoom and I'm going to go to my settings, my video, I could see that zoom is seeing my penguin, right? 
And now we can connect to another Zoom meeting and we're able to use my SLR camera, which we can, again, we can zoom in, zoom out. We can put different lenses here and we can create different looks. There are a couple other things I recommend. First, maximize the window of your uh, remote control software. This way it takes up the entire screen space. And whenever you're doing your window capture, it's not dependent on the size of your window. So it's always maximized. The second thing you should look out for is your battery level on top right corner. Make sure it doesn't get drained all the way. Otherwise the camera will shut off. If you're using AC adapter, this is not a problem. However, if you are powering it through USB, your battery level may drain or it may drain slowly. So you want to keep an eye on that. If you have an SLR camera made by a different manufacturer who also doesn't give you drivers uh, to make your camera a webcam, they probably give you similar remote control software which allows you to preview what the camera is seeing. And using OBS Studio, it's very easy to intercept that window and retransmit it as a webcam stream. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're on LinkedIn, hit the follow. On YouTube, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.